Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to review iOS 18.7, the latest version on the iPhone 15 Pro. So let's get started. So if you don't know, you can now go into your setting, general, software update, and update to the latest 18.7 version that's available. In addition to upgrading to iOS 26, which you might not want to do. And I'm going to explain a little bit of why between these and then you can make a decision. So first of all, iOS 18.7 does not have any new feature. It simply fixes bug fixes that are reported and does some security update to make sure your phone is running secured and stable without any issues. It is one of the latest update on 18.7 to make your phone secure. That's why there's no feature update. All the feature update will come with iOS 26 if you do decide to move to that. But good news is with 18.7 is the battery life has been stable. I have not seen any issues with the battery life using this device. Uh, other things, all the apps are working fine from your basic calling, texting, browsing, all of that, no issues there. Music streaming, video streaming, all of your social media apps, everything works, productivity tool, as you can see here, no issues there. And that's because this is just almost a really brand new phone. Again, only two, out since two years, I was uh, now 26 comes with the new iPhone. 17 lineup, this is a 15 lineup, so two year old phone, you're not gonna expect much issues with this update, especially this update makes the phone more solid. Now you might be wondering why you mentioned that you might wanna hold off on upgrading to iOS 26, because with the new update, yes, you're gonna get tons of new features, but sometimes with the updates, there's bug fixes that are discovered and then later on, dot two, three, or four are addressed. So right away, sometimes when you do update it, you might encounter those issues. So 18.7 might be better bet if you want to make sure your phone doesn't have any issues and you want to run smoothly. But again, you can always update to iOS 26 if you want to take advantage of the new features out. But in it all, 18.7 on the iPhone 15 Pro, solid update without any issues that we encountered. That's why I want to hear from you. If you had run into any issues or had any problems with it, do share in the comment section. And I hope you guys found this review helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.